should say afternoon. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I just finished placing the grocery order for pickup and I thought I would clean out the fridge to get it ready. It's, it's been on my to-do list for months now and I figured I might as well do it now. Well, it's closest to empty that it's going to be. I started doing it and then I thought, hmm, I should probably, I could film that. <laughs> so, do you know what we're starting with here? The outside, of course, is just covered in fingerprints and dried food, as happens when you have kids. And then inside here, it's just a hot mess of random stuff, old leftovers. We're just going to clean all of that out. All our condiments on both sides. Just clean it all out, wipe it out, because I can tell you some of the grunge is in these, like this bottom drawer. All kinds of grunge down in there. All that spilled stuff and meat juice probably just nasty. Uh, all right, and then just wipe down the shelves. And yeah, maybe I might pull out the drawers. I haven't decided, the other two drawers, I haven't decided if I want to pull those out yet or not. Depends on how dirty they are. If I just want to wipe them out or actually wash them. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I did want to say thank you to some people who sent me some messages saying that I'm hard to hear in my voiceovers. I have always had a soft voice and I know it uh, comes through so I am speaking a lot closer to my microphone now and I hope it comes through a lot clearer. Please let me know in the comments if you still can't hear me well. I'd really appreciate that. And thank you to those who have already let me know about that. All right, so jumping right in here, cleaning the outside of the refrigerator. I'm using the Wyman's Stainless Steel Wipes. They are fantastic. I have tried a few different stainless steel cleaners over time, and these ones just work really well. I don't have to like pre-clean and then use them just to polish. I have had that experience in the past with other products. These both clean and polish, and once you, you know, wipe it down, it does kind of leave like a sudsy look on the front of the refrigerator at first, but as it dries, it turns to more of just like a consistency of water so I just go over it with a clean towel at that point or a paper towel and just wipe away the extra streaks and it brightens it right up as you'll see at the end of the video it's just all bright and shiny Girl, the fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back all the way back to them days Running around In a gown and a crown Barefoot No mistake ever kept me Fireflies and winters on our skates One big smile across my face We used to dance our way to church on Sundays Mama set the pace Daydreamer, kidnapped me Take me back, all the way back to them days
So this cloth I just showed you is the e-cloth kitchen towel. It's the only e-cloth I have. I have tried a couple of the other e-cloths, but and I know a lot of influencers who use them and just rave about them, but they just haven't, in my experience, been like the best product out there for my different jobs. So I did keep the kitchen one though because I do appreciate how it has this little like scrubber corner and it does work really well, generally on countertops and just around the kitchen. So I'm using it to scrub off the remnants of this cardboard box that is stuck to the bottom of my refrigerator. I believe it was a soda box, but that really did pull it up well. I tried to get some up close and personal, like up close shots here, but it didn't work out too well. I didn't really know how to <laughs> lean my phone up in there and it just kept shaking as I was scrubbing. So I gave it a shot. I am trying to incorporate more close-up shots in my cleaning videos. I know they are super, super helpful for motivation. I very much enjoy watching them, like seeing those myself. So I am trying to get better at doing that to bring you a better quality of video and better quality of motivation. And if there's anything other, you know, any changes you guys would like to see or anything I'm not doing that I could be doing better, please let me know in the comments below. I love your, getting your feedback and just seeing you know, what type of things you like to see and what would help bring you the most motivation and inspiration for getting your to-do list tackled. saw you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kinda strange Don't even know your name I got nothing to worry about when you're by my 
been gone for about 30 minutes to let the fridge get cold again and when I'm opening it the light still isn't coming on although it's cold so I think the light bulb might have burned out so I'll get to taking a look at that and changing it once I finish cleaning all this so let me just finish cleaning it real quick put everything back in it because it is perfectly fine and cold it's just the light won't come on so I gotta check the light bulb after that and see what kind of light bulb it even is so let's keep going You hoisted me up As soon as I finish cleaning it, putting everything back in, the light bulb comes back on, <laughs> of course. So this is all everything here. It still looks a little full, but it's just because I have to try to have things already like where I need them to put the new stuff that's going to come in. And this drawer looks a ton better. I didn't show you before because the light was off, but yeah, all that, got all that like, meat juice. It's probably a lot of like hot dog juice and all that stuff up. That looks so, so much better. I'm very happy with that. Everything's just kind of been wiped down. Uh, this drawer I could not get out. Uh, I usually, this one's hard to get to because the placement of the baby gate blocks the door from opening all the way. And then even if this is gone, how far back it's set in the, the structure here, the wood then blocks that from opening all the way. So it's really hard to get out. Uh, but I did wipe it out pretty good and then, yeah. So this, there's plenty of space back like behind these yogurts for other stuff to go in up there, some pickles and sauerkraut up there, some baby milk, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but yeah, I got out all the bad leftovers that were gonna get, you know, needed to be dumped. And we're all set to get the grocery order in. Of course, the outside looks really good after those, you know, using those wipes. We just went over it with a plain towel after the like suds had disappeared, so it was just really polish it up and dry it. It's great. It's all shiny. All those fingerprints are gone. All those food bits are gone. Probably for only about 48 hours at the most, but hey, at least for now, they're gone. So I'm really happy we got this nice and deep cleaned and ready for the groceries and just deep cleaned for, you know, part of, part of spring cleaning, getting that done. We do have some stuff still down to do in the freezer. I did clean off the front of it when I was, did, did the wipes and the steel wipes, but this has a lot more stuff in it. I'm going to have, I'm going to wait to really clean this one out because that when it does get spilled, they freeze. And the thing I'm concerned most about right now is the fact that I have tons of breast milk here that I do not want to last so freezer is just going to have to stay the way it is for now. <laughs> of course, make sure when we put stuff in that it's generally clean, but any like the frozen on food pieces and things like that, it may just have to stay for now. 
uh, until we're, if we are able to get an outside freezer to temporarily put those in, maybe a cooler, I'll figure it out. But I will get that cleaned at some point in the future, possibly spring cleaning, possibly later. But either way, thanks for coming along with me today, guys. I appreciate your company. It just helps us go so much faster, and I hope I could be motivating for you to get any of those the just deeper deep cleaning projects in your house that you need to get done just hop right on that make that time i know it's hard to make time for some of these projects this has literally been needing to be done for months and i finally am on it i'm getting to it so oh there goes my headband again my hair does not like to hold headbands i love wearing them but they're always slip back over the back of my head anyway so So I'm just jumping in here. It's now nighttime, and I'm sorry for the dark lighting. I have all the lamps on in here, and it really just doesn't appear as bright on the camera as it is. So I'm just going to do this with what we have. Uh, I did have a... Uh, I went back to Once Upon a Child for Bruce this time, so I did have a toddler boy clothing haul I wanted to share with you with just one piece I got for Libby. I wanted to get her a uh, sleeveless onesie, just one with like straps on it, to go underneath um, this really cute top Nina had picked out for her. I think I showed it in the last video, it was like a yellow top. Um, maybe I didn't, I don't remember if I showed that one or if that was a different piece. But either way, this is a little yellow top, she can wear with some pants, but um, it's, I just, it's very flowy around, like most of the, most of the way around, so I just want to have her have something to go underneath it. So I did find this, it says uh, early riser, it's just this little pink frilly um, onesie. I mean it would certainly look cute just on its own, but I did get it for that purpose and it was only $2.50, so adorable. And again, I love Once Upon a Child spices. Alright, so that's the only piece I got for Libby and then the rest we got for Bruce. Now we have some clothes that fit him. So, story with that. I had gotten him some clothes at this, uh, I went, had gone to Once Upon a Child after the, the haul I, video I made before. That was when Nina had picked out the yellow shirt for Libby. And he got him a bunch of clothes. Uh, he was moving it from 2T to 3T, or so I thought. Most of his clothes at that point were 2T. And he got home and the 3T like shirts we bought for him were all too short. Uh, just like the 2T shirts. And uh, most of the pants fit, like the bigger size 2Ts fit. Or excuse me, the 3T pants did fit. So we got him some like larger 2T and some regular to larger, regular to smaller 3T. His pants size and his shirt size are very different. So, I, and I've gotten him some pajamas in 3T and they were just all too small. So I ended up going back today, returning all that stuff and getting him some stuff that actually fits. So, boy, little boy stuff. All right. So these are the pajama sets I got for him. These are based on his own likings. He absolutely loves Mickey Mouse Clubhouse right now. So I found this little Mickey Mouse set. This is a shirt to it. And then it comes with this little pair of black shorts. I mean, honestly, it doesn't even really look like pajamas. This could just be an outfit he wears out also. Um, or he also wear it to bed. But yeah, this was only $3.50 at Once Upon a Child. So it's a really cute little set for a little boy. The other one, he also really loves, the other pajama set, he also really loves Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. So I found this cute little like baseball jersey pajama set, Daniel, it's Daniel Tiger, it's the shirt, and then these little pants, they're, both, they're like long pants, have like a Daniel Tiger baseball print on them. So, so cute. He's going to love them. I have not shown him any of these yet. Um, wanted to... Of course, I will make sure they fit first before I take the tags off and wash them, but he's going to love these. All right, and then for shirts, I just got, this one was just a very basic little boys t-shirt. This little pocket right there. He's had this style before, and it's just something basic he can run and play in, nothing too fancy. And these these basic boys t-shirts are only $2.50 once upon a time. Give me one second. My lamp is blinking. <laughs> I think the light might be go. The light bulb might be going. One sec. All right, and we're back now. So I turned on the reading lamp. I think that bulb is definitely going, so I'm gonna have to replace that. But I want to just finish this real quick first. 
It's a fun night with lighting tonight. It's, it's really been an adventure. <laughs> Alright, I need to get a ring light. I keep on saying that. I've had one in my Amazon, like, save for later, part of my cart for forever, and I've never actually bought it. I need to just bite the bullet and get it. It's worth it for, you know, have better lighting for you guys. So, anyway, as I was saying, this little red t-shirt, it's $2.50. Like, all these little t-shirts are $2.50 once upon a child. Um, and this one, he abs Bruce absolutely loves, and I know it's, like, irony, but he absolutely loves The Incredible Hulk, who... Of course he has my now, whose name is also Bruce. So I found this Marvel Avengers t-shirt. It's got all the characters on it. It's got Hulk, Spider-Man. No, does it have Spider-Man on it? I can't tell. It should. It's Iron Man, um, Captain America, a couple others, Thor, and then yeah. So that's really cute. He's gonna love that also. Also 250. And this one, this one I thought was a real bargain. This was only $3.50, but it's a two-piece set. Now I'm not, so it's, it's really cute, it's really nice. It's just got like some, it's green and blue and white. It's really hard to see the colors in this lighting. But like dark green, blue, and white. And then it has a pair of shorts with it too. Uh, that are the dark green color. I think these will probably fit him. He's still in 2T in his like bit larger 2T, smaller 3T. So these are 4T shirt shorts, but they have a pull tie, so they may fit. If not, we'll just save them for when he is big enough for them. But the shirt will definitely fit him. So I thought that was great because it was only $3.50. I thought it was going to be like $6.50 or $7 for a cute set like that, but I was impressed. All right, and this one, this is another little T-Rex shirt. I had gotten him uh, a T-Rex stuffed animal for Christmas from the new, I think it was supposed to be from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie, but he's a T-Rex, he's at least a boy, he likes dinosaurs, and that T-Rex he has named Rocky. Rocky is his new best friend, sleeps with him in bed every night, so, and uh, one of the shirts I did get from the last Once Upon a Child haul was similar, very similar, a light blue shirt with a T-Rex on it, and he's just like, Rocky T-Rex t-shirt, Rocky T-Rex t-shirt, every, almost every day now, so I figured, get him a second one, he'll have two Rocky T-Rex t-shirts he can wear, so he won't even be wearing a dirty shirt when he wants to wear a T-Rex shirt. And then this last one was another Marvel Avengers shirt. This one's a bit brighter in the colors, but you see better. You got Hulk, Captain America, Spider-Man is on this one. Thor, that's all I'm recognizing. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm recognizing right now. Iron Man is on there. I think that was, is Thor on here? Maybe not. But anyway, so all the little... Avengers characters, so I'm sure he'll love that. Once again, this one and the di and the T-Rex one were only $2.50. So, and then I got 20% off the entire order because I had a coupon. Um, if you're in part of the Mommy's Club, I think that's what it's called. Whatever their um, like rewards program is, after so many, you get so many points. Uh, you they give you 20% off. So I had a 20% off coupon this time. So this stuff was under $20. All this was I think $19.50. Or something like that. So it was always oh, under twenty dollars. It's very good, good, decent deal. And now Bruce has a decent amount of clothes to run and play in. Um, yeah, I may go back tomorrow. There was a shirt there. It was like this pastel plaid. I was going back and forth about if it's even still there. I ended up putting it back because it was almost seven dollars. But I was thinking for him for Easter. Um, because Nina has a dress for Easter, Libby has a dress for Easter, and Bruce does not have anything for Easter. So I might go back and get it. Um, I don't know. I'm still going back and forth. But, yeah. So that's going to do it for this. Um, because oh yeah, today is two days before Easter. It's Friday night uh, when I'm filming this. Saturday when you see it. And then, um, so stay tuned for our next video. Sunday. It will be on Easter Sunday. It will be my What I Got My Kids for Easter video. I do not post that before Easter simply because I have met Nina, my teenager. She has access to YouTube and she watches my channel. So if I were to post that before Easter, she would know it was in her Easter basket. So let me know in the comments below if you would like to see those videos more ahead of time. I could make them for just Bruce and Libby's baskets for future years to come. <laughs> for just Bruce and Libby's baskets and then maybe on Easter post one of all that stuff I got for her or I can just keep doing what I've, I've 
done this year and I did last year. I did an Easter basket video last year and that one I uploaded. It was either all on Easter or the day after. So that video will be going up at noon on Easter Sunday. So I'll see you guys then. Love y'all. Until next time. Bye. Thank you.